Hi guys, I'm here to talk about my observation that I did. I went to a school called Independence Elementary in Clarkston, Michigan, which is where I went to elementary school, and I still am in contact with a few of the teachers that work there, so I decided I was going to go there to do my observation. I went into a third grade classroom, and it was one that I was very familiar with because the teacher I know personally, and I also know a few of her students, so I decided to go in there. It was in the morning that I went in there. That's when they do their math time. And they were working on multiplication. And this was a few months ago. And we um, took part in an activity. And she was doing it as sort of like a review, but also instruction. Because the students had just been learning about groups and like how each piece in a number counts as a part of a group so she had each of the students got a whiteboard and they were able to work in partners or on their own and she would put up a picture and she would tell them to put it into a certain number of groups so one of the pictures that she had up was like 18 bumblebees and she said I want this to be in three groups so the kids would work together or on their own and they would make you know, six groups. There's six in each group with three groups being present. So that was exciting to see because I really liked how she set up the lesson by having the students be able to work Mm -hmm. in groups or on their own. And I liked to hear the way they were problem solving. A lot of the kids were trying to put one in each group and then two in each group and then three. And then they realized that it worked. And I liked being able to see that learning happening. Also, some kids got it really quickly, and they just knew, oh, if you have three groups of six, it'll be 18. So there was a lot of different strengths in the class, as well as seeing where kids need to work more on. And she started out as a general concept, where each student just was asked to put, you know, find how many could go in each group depending on how many groups she wanted. And then she started talking more in like a story problem sense. So if you were talking about 18 being split into three groups, she would say, I have this many items and I need to have this many in each group. And it would be less visual. She used a lot of visuals in the beginning, but then she started using more words. And this shift was able to help the students learn about the concept more deeply. And I really thought this was good for adding depth to that concept because it made it more practical to their lives. So I really liked how she structured this lesson. And in my own classroom, I would like to do something like this, especially because A lot of it was working together, where with math, when I was younger, I always felt like I learned it on my own, and I have to regurgitate the process or the answer onto my homework or onto the test, and that would be how I would pass, instead of working in groups and being able to learn as a group. I thought a lot of it was individualized when I was little, so... I really like to see that she was having students work with other students to come up with the answer. Um, And the use of the whiteboards was also great because they were able to construct a visual based on what their thinking was. Whereas a lot of the times math becomes um, more of like, give me what I want to see. Where these kids were able to do whatever they thought they needed to do to get the answer. And then they were able to show the teacher. So I really liked that concept and I really liked how she used such a different variety of things to talk about what multiplication was and how you can use it in day-to-day life. So I definitely think that this was a great lesson to watch and I definitely learned a lot from what I saw and I hope to use some of these practices in my own classroom someday. Thank you for watching.